So on Wednesday, uh, Nick asked, what is your definition of art? Um, and I don't really have, like, a fantastic definition, but I do have, um, like, art, I mean, to me, art is something that it's either created for yourself or it's created for someone else or for lots of someone else's. But, like, most importantly, like, art is, it's something that either evokes an emotion or it imitates an emotion. Um, so, Nick kind of talked about, like, a lot of different types of art. But one thing you forgot was, like, literature and, like, written language and spoken language. Because I definitely consider that, like, an art. And especially, like, people who can speak really, really well and just, like, talk someone in circles. Like, I think that's an art. Um, because it's incredible, like, how people can use words. But that being said, then, like, what are the limitations of art? Like, when does art stop being art? Because, like I said, I consider, like, a lot of literature um, to be art, but I definitely don't consider all of it to be art. And I definitely believe that there are those limitations. Um, but, like, other than saying that, like, it varies depending on, like, who's looking at the piece of art, or, like, it varies depending on, like, um, what's being created... I wouldn't really know like what to say those limitations are. Now also that being said, I don't think that saying like it varies is like a legitimate answer. Um, because like for example, like if I were to paint like a nude person and like hang it up in a museum, a lot of people would consider that art. But like would it still be art if it's like in a children's um like library or something where like children can see it? Um, like, does it stop being art just because, like, a certain demographic of people can see it? I don't know, and that's kind of, like, where I'm stuck. Like, how do you, you know, like, how do you say when art is no longer art because of what it is? So, like, nudes or graffiti, or, like, I mean, even if, like, someone were to pay you for it, is that, like, art even yours anymore? I saw a movie once for, in the class, um, and there was a quote, which I'm gonna have to paraphrase, um, and it was basically saying, um, it was basically like a guy saying, well, like, I'm paying you for this painting, so it's mine, not yours. Is there any truth to that? Like, if someone pays you to make something, is that, is what you're making no longer yours? I kind of think, like, yeah, there is some truth to that, but also, like, to what extent? Um, because, like, it's your creation and you have rights to it. But what rights do you have? Because I definitely believe that art is nothing without its audience. Um, if there's no one to see your art, then like that art is nothing. It like it pretty much doesn't exist. But like at the same time, you can't control what your audience thinks or like how your audience interprets your art. I mean, so like I guess who does the art belong to also? Um <laughs> Yeah, so, <laughs> sorry for all the questions, but, um, one thing just kind of leads to another. So, I guess, um, I guess, like, what is art? I guess, I mean, <laughs> like, what are, are, like, what are those, like, set, like, limitations for what can be considered? And, like, who does the art belong to? Because, like, I don't know, because you have the person that creates the art, and then there's the person who views the art, and not, rarely do the two people, like, see eye to eye kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, Kate, I'm looking forward to your answers, and yeah, I'll see you on Monday, and Nick, I'll see you on Wednesday. Alright, bye guys.